Uh, today in this review, I'll be reviewing the Shang Tsao Square One. The box of it is your typical normal Shang Tsao box, which has all this information about the cube, saying that it is a light sliding track, silky smooth turning, which that's not really true that much about this. Um, interesting thing that I see about this, it says 3 by 3 by 3 and then square one. It also did, they, Shang Tsao also did that with this cube as well. Um, two track, um, technology, super performance type thing. Basically, this square one is nothing new. It's not even an improvement to the previous mechanism that came out. Not the MFA version 2 or the MFA version 1 mechanism. Um, the MFA version 1 mechanism is the older 20 year old mechanism that's been around since the beginning of square one. Which, this has a variant of it, which is the same but with a slight difference, but the slight difference doesn't really make a huge difference to the overall performance of this. Um, the turning of this through here, it turned moderately okay. The UND layers turn really good because I um, did something to them um, to make it work a bit better. Um, and I'll explain to you later on in the review. The color scheme on mine is a little bit different. Um, I've seen pictures of this square one with the white on top instead of um, yellow on top. So. I don't know what's wrong with that, and why um, Shang Tsao has made some with white on top and some with yellow on top. I know I could just move around these caps, like either the um, edge, these long caps, switch around, switch the layers, or just by doing these corner and edge cap switching thing, I could do that too. Um, but, either way, that's an easy fix to do. Um, corner cutting, not much. There's like literally barely any corner cutting. The only corner cutting is like little bits here and there. Due to the, um, uh, mechanism being the older original style mechanism. Mockups do occur to the... The fact that I use the old style mechanism, and I I tend to make it lock up quite a lot sometimes like that. That's probably to do my turning, but anyway, it's still a good square one. Um, the reason why I got this one was mainly because this old one is loose and overused and way too um used and it had some sort of popping issue well it didn't pop then but it does have some popping issue like that um and yeah and the, I could just screw tighten the screw down some but the screw is not working well it's like it's just not want to stay in the correct um, tightness or something like that. It's really old and worn out. But this square one is much better. And let me show you the mechanism and what I did to improve it some. Um, the mechanism for the edges or like this, your older style edges. Um, corners. If I can get one out, I'm not going to get one out for right now, but, and the railing is, it's typical old style, um, saying old style square one mechanism, like this old one. Um, what I did was, I unscrewed the screws that hold the tracks together, there should be four of them, there's two, there's three right there. 
for the this for them. I unscrewed them all. Took out the screw and spring that holds together. Removed the spring. Put the screw back in. Tightened it all the way. Then loosened it some. Um. Um. And that made the railing for the U and D layer to turn a bit better. Um. Like freely. Because when I first got it, the U and D layer didn't really have a free, um, really free, good enough movement where it's like sliding, easily sliding. It was like, had a lot of friction and stuff like that. And I also tightened the screw that holds the two half of the puzzle together down to a certain extent. And getting this last edge in is tricky. Let me get it in. In. Alright, I got it all assembled again. And basically, with the screw, I tightened it um, to a certain extent to roll it to where it's really tight, but not super tight. And that improved it and made it pop a lot less uh, than what it originally was. And with the this style mechanism, um, there's many flaws with it, like popping issues, lockup, um, no corner cutting and stuff like that. So, if I were you, I would recommend waiting, um, a few more months, because there's been pictures of several, um, square one, that, like, of Feng Xin and, um, Kai um, square ones, um, that are gonna come out. I'm not sure about the Feng Shui, Feng Shin one, but the other one, the Kai one, it's going to come out soon, but I'm not sure how soon, but there's gonna be a stickler version of it, and it, I hope it has a newer, better mechanism that ensures better corner cutting and better pop resistant and stuff like that. And the Shang Shao Square one comes with this solution guide. Which is a good solution guide. Good um for you to have to take around and learn on the go. But the thing about it is that it's all in Chinese. So if you New to square one, never even solved square one before, um, and don't know the notation very well, then the square one notation are gonna be tricky for you if this is gonna be your first one. Um, so, for recommendation, I might recommend you to hold off a bit, um, by getting and waiting until the Kai one or the Fang Xin one to come out. Um, or maybe just get this one, or like, a Cube Twist, or MFA version 1 if you can find it, or even the Calvin Square one. So, this is my review of the Shang Shao Square one. Not much to really say much more about it. Yeah.